Well, good afternoon, heavy duty motorcycles in Mansfield. Thought you might like to see this bike that we've just finished and is going out to the customer uh, this afternoon. It's a 2016 Softail Slim S, uh, which means it has the Screaming Eagle uh, 110 engine. And the reason that it doesn't feature some of the things you'd normally expect on a, a Softail Slim is because this is the customer's uh, own reinterpretation of it. I'll just talk you through some of the things that uh, we've done so that alter his spec. Uh, starting at the front here, you can see we've um, changed the front fender. Uh, I think that would be a fat boy fender actually. And then it's got 16 inch apes, they're failing bars actually. I think they're RSD risers. Um, obviously all the um, wiring extensions, cables. Um, then you'll see up here, uh, the controls for Legend air shocks, uh, which of course are mounted under the back end. Um, then what else have we got? Well, uh, we've got this. Uh, originally, it was going to be a, a, a bobber, but he dis uh, made a switch halfway through um, the job and uh, went for this crossbones uh, back fender. And then you've got a Roland Sands seat really beautiful seat beautifully made very very comfortable um, and then we uh, we also uh, went from the original stock wheel to this uh, 200 um, so we had that uh, custom made and laced and fitted there you can see the difference uh, from what it would have been on the slim um, and then of course yeah just little things like these aftermarket indicators um, front and rear just show you the front ones and then uh, I think that's, that's about it really um, of course except for the uh, legend air shocks which are mounted underneath um, and then of course uh, lastly this beautiful paint job it's a customer's own um, spec of course uh, it's uh, a shade of teal that he wanted and it's got a really lovely uh, black and gold pinstripe and also that's replicated around the uh, decal that you can see there. Lovely paint job actually. Really, really pleased with it. So, there you go, let me just start it up for you. We've actually just bought it back from the dyno, uh, not really chasing performance, but just to get it uh, running really well. And um, it's been stage one, but has never um, had power vision license on it before. So they put it on the dyno, got some really respectable results. I think it's up to about 96 brake horsepower and 110 foot uh, pounds of torque. So uh, very, very respectable uh, for a bike that hasn't had any kind of real tweaking on the engine. So there you have it, um, lovely customised, reinterpreted Softail Slim S and the uh, customer is going to be delighted, I'm sure. Cheerio, thanks for watching. Bye bye.